like Balinese, Javanese, Sundanese, Papuanese, Ambonese, you name them in Indonesia, in Switzerland, has also native languages that the local communities prefer using, for example, do you think learning a foreign language is going to be useful and important? If you want to know uh, where I take my French uh, lessons, then you have to go to the first video where I uh, mention LV. In the first part, I was sharing with you some very useful tips on how you guys make a strategic decisions on learning a foreign language. And in this part two, you'll be getting some very useful hints on how you guys integrate uh, yourself into a social community abroad. So here are the hints on how you can start integrating yourself into a social community abroad. I know it took me some time to make this video happen, but hey guys, I'm so happy to see you again in the last part of Is learning a foreign language useful to integrate oneself into a social community? I'm Didi Le Javane, and I would like to welcome you back to my channel. In the first part, I was sharing with you some very useful tips on how you guys make a strategic decisions on learning a foreign language. And if you haven't watched it, then I strongly recommend that you watch the first part so that you guys will get the idea how I'm going to correlate it to this part two. And in this part two, you'll be getting some very useful hints on how you guys integrate uh, yourself into a social community abroad. Okay guys, before proceeding with the hints of integrations, I'd like to remind you all to subscribe my channel here and also click this bell icon so that you will be notified once I upload a new video. Now let me ask you these questions. How many of you have ever lived or how many of you have experience in living in other cities within the home countries or foreign countries? Well I believe some have and others don't have the chance to experience in living in other cities or um, within their home countries or in foreign countries. So for those who haven't had the chance, don't worry. I can give you an example of myself so that you guys uh, will get a picture how it looks. And talking about integration in um, other cities within the countries, I myself used to live in different cities like uh, in Surabaya East Java, in Samarang uh, Central Java, and also in Denpasar Bali Island for uh, a couple of years. And um, I didn't have big issues to deal with integrations. Do you want to know the secret? Well, frankly speaking, there is no secret, guys. You know I am Indonesian. And in Indonesia, we have one national language, the so-called Bahasa Indonesia. Nonetheless, if I want to be more welcomed by the local communities, for example, in Bali, then I needed to learn the Balinese language. Like many other tribes that exist in Indonesia, Papuanese, Javanese, Sun Sundanese, um, Ambunese, for example, and so forth, they all prefer using their regional languages to the national language for their daily life communications. Now perhaps you are curious about how many languages or how many native languages are spoken in Indonesia. If that's so, let me share this general knowledge with you. Well, according to the article that I've read recently, I'll give you the link here down uh, below on the, in the descriptions so that you will be able to click yourself and read. Um, we have more than 700 native languages that are spoken in the Indonesian archipelago. 
Fortunately, we have one unified national language, Bahasa Indonesia, as I mentioned before. Otherwise, you guys would have been amazed to discover how polyglot we will be. Yeah, including me. No, just kidding, guys. Um, well, I'm not that polyglot, by the way. So, the very intriguing part in this video is about integrating oneself into a social community abroad. Again, I want to take an example of myself as an expat in Switzerland. As a student, you know, I don't find difficulties in engaging myself uh, with my uh, fellowship scholars because we all, you know, um, communicate in English and everyone understands English. However, living as student is not literally answered, you know, answered by the uh, student community. Integrating myself um, or engaging myself with the local communities is necessary. Like Balinese, Javanese, Sundanese, Papuanese, Ambonese, you name them in Indonesia, in Switzerland, has also native languages that the local communities prefer using, for example, um, uh, German for those uh, who live in this German-speaking canton, French for those who live in this French-speaking canton, and um, Italian as well as Romans to the international language English. Perhaps you might have another questions like how I communicate with the local communities in Switzerland. Well, frankly speaking, guys, uh, before I came here, I have no clue about the local uh, or the native languages, as I mentioned before. But I took some uh, classes of a spoken language, like uh, German. When I lived and I uh, studied in uh, German-speaking Canton, i.e. Uh, Basel and Orton, and as I currently live and study in uh, French-speaking Canton, then I think French is the uh, necessary language to be learned. Maybe the next question would be like, does this help myself integrating with local communities? The answer is big yes. It helps, it helps a lot. And um, trust me, if you want to know uh, where I take my French uh, lessons, then you have to go to the first video where I uh, mentioned LV. This is the institution where I learn French. By the way, I occasionally think like um, what are the drivers that motivate people to leave for other cities or other countries? So here are the, uh, the probable uh, answers that I find. Um, first is that um, developing business in other cities or uh, other countries and the second is uh, study or working. So for example, uh, your parents are assigned to develop business in other cities or other countries by the company they are working or uh, let's say you or I reside in other cities or other country for the sake of, for the purpose uh, of um, studying or, and, or working. So for those people who live in different cities abroad uh, or let's say other cities within the country itself need to learn the native languages for the sake of integrations. And for those who have no, or who have never uh, moved into other cities or our countries don't have to struggle with it because, you know, everyone in their surrounding understands uh, the language they are speaking or they are using. Now I'll let you take some time to consider about you are going to reside in um, other countries where, you know, the language would be completely different from your mother tongue. Do you think learning a foreign language is going to be useful and important? So, to me, learning a foreign language is highly recommended because it's going to be very practical and useful uh, for you to integrate yourself into a local community. And believe me, guys, that learning a foreign language may take longer time than expected. 
But let me assure you, you know, it depends. It all depends on what is your objective and what is your motivations. If you have a clear objective and are really motivated, then you will find the easy way uh, to make a progress, you know, uh, more rapidly than those who don't. I also found that many people in Indonesia feel unconfident to use the language they are learning for some reason at schools or at their universities. Well, either they are shy or uh, afraid of making mistakes. But hey guys, you are not alone in this universe. It happened to me as well in the past. You know, we all have to learn from our mistakes. And therefore we can make, uh, you know, uh, Better. So here are the hints on how you can start integrating yourself into a social community abroad. First, find the sport club, i.e. a ping pong, badminton, um, tennis, martial art, and uh, make sure commit yourself to join in one of uh, the, the list that you have. And the second, you join the uh, you know uh, social activities like humanitarian activities like um, collecting or uh, collecting funds for the uh, humanitarian activities or uh, charity activities in the city uh, or in your group and the third is join the club or join in a student community at universities and this is very doable and the fourth one, um, probably you just need to go to bars, to library, public library, or to go to uh, cafes just to get the acquaintance. Okay? Do these hints make sense to you? If that's so, let me know what you think by writing down your perspective down below the comment sections. And if you like this video, please subscribe here and also uh, click like it. And um, Click also or press the bell icon so that you will be notified once I upload a new video. And share it with your friend. Alright? I'm Didi Lejavane. Thanks a lot for watching my video. And I'll see you again next time with the intriguing topics. Ciao!